Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and to my November favourites. So I know this is a little bit late, but I'm kind of of the mindset that they've been late frequently. So actually, this is probably on time in regards to my lateness. So I'm just going to get started. I have a lot to run through here. Fashion, snacks. Um, so a bit of beauty in there as well and a new perfume which is very exciting because I haven't invested in a new perfume in the longest time so I'm very excited to share. Let's start with that shall we. So this perfume is by Rituals. I unboxed their advent calendar a few videos ago. You may remember that video. I'll link it above and this was on door number 24 I believe. So this was the Christmas Eve present obviously in a much smaller size than this and it was the fragrance in Rose de Shiraz. When I tried that perfume in that video, I said I was going to buy myself the full size fragrance and I did do, I loved it. As soon as I spritzed it, I thought, this smells amazing. To me, this smells very Middle Eastern. It has cardamom elements to it. It's spicy, it's floral, but not in a typical powdery floral kind of way. In a very authentic, exciting, sexy, rich rose with a hint of vanilla in there as well and cardamom, so nice and fresh. and. I just really like it. There's something, again, quite Middle Eastern about it, which is a nice nod to my heritage. And I love the packaging as well. So I would definitely recommend this. It's not too pricey as well um, for a nice um, 60ml bottle. I think you're looking at about between 30 and £40, pounds, depending on where you get it from, which is ideal. And I love the bottle as well. This beautiful golden embossment here with the wooden lid and the gorgeous tinted, um, I would say, like a rosy, rich burgundy glass it's beautiful so that's the first thing i have to mention the next thing i have to talk about is around a similar vein so something quite festive you may notice i've been wearing a lot of dark nail polishes recently i've been kind of alternating between two colors and this is one of them it's the one that i'm wearing today which is a really lovely kind of in between burgundy and red it's not as dark as some of the others that i've been wearing but this is a nice introduction to again the winter season and this is by nailberry london um, or nailberry paris london I really like this brand for a few reasons. The first is they do not chip. It's incredible. I'm normally a big fan of Essie polishes, but Essie does chip a little more than I would like, especially in the colder weather for some reason. I find it, it just chips very easily. And I was on the lookout for something and I saw that these were actually reduced on the fragrance um, website, the fragrance store. Um, normally they're about £15, but I actually managed to get this for 7 so I'll link it down below. Um, and this is the colour grateful i also picked up their noir berry as well which is very very similar to the chanel um rouge noir which i love but this is a really lovely red wine with a hint of burgundy brownie red and it's just stunning it's that sarah michelle geller cool intentions color that we all love at this time of year so i had to give that a shout out especially at such an amazing price so i'll try and link that down below hopefully it's still on the more affordable side i don't have much beauty actually because i haven't been trying a ton um I'm still at home, I'm not wearing a ton of makeup, but when I do, this is what I've been reaching for. And because I wasn't wearing a ton of makeup, I've not wanted to invest in super high brands normally. I quite like buying my makeup less frequently, but spending a little bit more on the formulas that I like. You guys know, I started off as a beauty blogger and YouTuber, but I'm not really that anymore. So I've tried my fair share of foundations. I actually have a full foundation review playlist. If you want to check it out, I'll link it. Um, so I am a bit of a foundation connoisseur, and I do like to invest in my foundations, but not over lockdown, not over a time where I'm hardly going out. So I went back to a fail-safe brand of mine, which is Max Factor. I really loved Max Factor when I was a student. Uh, not wanting to spend that much on foundations. I always found the formula to be really good, the coverage as well. So I went back to Max Factor to try their new Miracle Second Skin Hybrid Foundation. Now, this is actually infused with coconut milk, so it's actually really nice and hydrating for the skin and leaves a nice feel and appearance. Um, it's just a really lovely foundation, great coverage, nice and glowy. I would say a demi-matte finish. I'm wearing it today, and I just find it complements my skin tone. It blends really well, and I find it to last incredibly well for a drugstore foundation and this actually can rival a few of the high-end ones I have in my collection. It's really really good. I have it in the shade 05 medium which is ideal for when I'm not pale but I'm also not tanned. I'm kind of just my natural olive colour and it works really well for me. I really like it. It's again nice and hydrating. It doesn't flake. It doesn't irritate my skin at all. It covers breakouts. It's nice and smooth. It's not heavy. It doesn't feel cakey at all. So I had to give that a shout out because I was actually quite pleasantly surprised as to how much I enjoyed that. And I think that is all the makeup. So not too much there. So I'm going to move on to snacks before ending with fashion. 
how could I not mention the mince pies that I've been obsessed with ever since they started selling mince pies in the shops at the beginning of the month. These are my favourite ones that I found and they're the Tesco's all butter pastry mince pies with cognac, brandy and port. These are delicious and are very closely rivaled by my second favourite which is the Sainsbury's Finest um, crumble topped mince pies. I love those as well, they're delicious. Um, but I'm partial to the original and these are just wonderful. They're actually a nice ratio between pastry and the filling. Sometimes I find it can be a bit more one or the other, but this is actually a really good ratio and I really enjoy it. They're spicy, they're light and sweet, and they're just delicious. So if you're looking to try mince pies out for the first time, I would definitely recommend this brand. If not, my crumble top ones from Sainsbury's are equally as delicious, but I have been obsessed. I've pretty much been having a mince pie every single day, and I also, this is pre-corona, every year I normally leave a plate of mince pies out at the door, so when couriers drop packages off, they can just take a mince pie if they want. I've not done that this year for obvious reasons. I just don't think it's that appropriate, but, um, it's just something nice to do and that's normally what I do. I put a little plate out and then people can just get them at their leisure. Um, I just think there's something quite nice at this time of year, enjoying a mince pie or two, especially with the brewing in the afternoon. I've been really enjoying that. Um, so those are my mince pies that I've been enjoying. I do have one more makeup product actually, which was in my lap so I didn't see it, but this isn't new to me. I've just been wearing it a lot. Um, I've been really enjoying the less is more look when it comes to makeup, so not wearing too much eyeshadow, not having dramatic brows or anything like that, but what I do like is to make sure that my highlighter um, does a lot of the talking. I just love that fresh face look and I also love this because it doubles up as an eyeshadow as well. Not wearing it on my eyes today, sadly, but I do really enjoy to wear it on my eyes. And it's the Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder. And this is just a really beautiful golden antique oyster kind of colour. Very authentic, actually. Not an artificial highlight where it's swiped on. It's quite subtle, but actually makes the bone structure really pop. And the light bounces off it. And it's just lovely. I often get asked what my foundation is, not my foundation, sorry, my highlighter is when I wear this and I think along with this foundation they work really well together, it sits on top of this nicely and just provides a really lovely glowy youthful kind of look so I really enjoy that. Um, staying on the snack front, how could I not mention this? So I did a, what was it, a vlog where I picked up this spread from Mark Spencer's and this is a salted caramel and chocolate spread <laughs> and since I bought it, which was about a week ago, I have to say it's the best spread I've ever tasted. This knocks Biscoff out of the water. If you're a fan of Biscoff, caramelly, syrupy, um, golden flavours, like that golden caramelised sticky sweetness flavour and you love caramel, you will absolutely adore this. I'm obsessed. So much so that you can see I'm well into halfway on this and I'm the only one who eats it. Oh my god, even the smell of it just makes my heart sing mmm it's delicious I have it on toast I have it on bagels I have it on biscuits I have it straight from the jar I dip chocolate in it I just love it so I only have one homeware piece this month which is rare normally I like a lot when it comes to homeware I'm still loving my beeswax wraps I still think they're incredible they're still very much a favorite of mine so I'll link those down below as well but I did show them last month but they're amazing they're definitely the best beeswax wraps I've tried they wash well they're really thick and great sizes um, so I've really been enjoying those but when it comes to home this candle I picked up at the beginning of November um, just to kind of mark that introduction into winter, introduction into getting the tree up and everything like that and I've been obsessed with it and this is the Yankee Candle in Spiced Orange. Now you guys know I'm partial to an orange fragrance, I absolutely love it and this is a very rich, inviting, pomander kind of scent. You have the clove in there as well which reminds me I really want to make some of these pomanders with some cloves and some orange just to hang about the house and it's delicious, it's a gorgeous scent, very spicy, very warm, ideal when the fire is on at night just to snuggle up, do some wrapping, watch a film and have this lit. It's just very comforting and relaxing. I'm all about that cosy life, I'm all about that. Just staying at home and enjoying and being grateful for the moment and this just helps me to create a really lovely ambience at home and just sit and be present and just enjoy the senses that this brings, the enlightenment to my senses and 
I love that and again as you guys know I'm partial to an orange fragrance hence my happy beauty hand cream my happy beauty body cream I just love me an orange scent guys I'm obsessed with it so that candle has been a lovely addition to my home and I've been really enjoying it so I'm gonna end on fashion here not a massively long one this one just because there hasn't been much I've been trying, but what I have here, I absolutely adore. So do check out my recommendations. But how could I not mention this hoodie? This hoodie was one I picked up. Um, I think I got it in the Black Friday, 20% off time, just because I it's been on my wait list for ages. You guys know I have this in the burg not in the burgundy, in the beige shade that I got last year, and I wore it throughout the whole winter. Um, and I wear it a lot generally. Like I live in the UK, it's still quite cold for a lot of the year, and. I did wish that I picked one up in grey as well, but it was always out of stock. And it came back in stock, and it's this beautiful ribbed oversized hoodie that is just the cosiest thing. It's just lovely. Now granted, and other stories aren't the cheapest of brands, but I haven't been buying a ton of new clothing recently, so I've been happy to invest more in staple capsule pieces, and this is just one that I know I'll get a ton of wear out of it because I wear my other one so much. So I got it in the size XS. It's like an absolute dream. It's actually quite oversized anyways and yeah, I really like it. It's just a really comfy, cosy hoodie to wear and again, I'm all about that lounge life. So that is that. And then the last piece I have was very kindly gifted. Now, it's probably cheating because I haven't actually worn this outside yet because I haven't been anywhere to warrant wearing such a beautiful piece. But because it arrived in November and because it is such a treat, I had to give it a mention because I love it and I cannot wait for my first opportunity to wear it. So... I've been looking for a beautiful black everyday bag that I can fit my vlogging camera in, my card wallet, my keys, and just the essentials. Like I want a small, compact, yet stylish bag that I can wear with any outfit that's going to fit a few things in and look great. And I've really struggled to find one. And then the brand, Teddy Blake, got in touch and asked if they could send me a Christmas present. And I saw this bag and I thought, this is the one I want because it has a beautiful red festive lining. So let's open it up. Isn't she a beaut? absolutely gorgeous it's got two jewel zips here it's got this beautiful handle in case you wanted to hold it just as a little mini bag but it also comes with a strap as well and I love me a good strap I definitely need a strap I like to be hands-free especially with the kids and I love that this is um, adjustable so you can adjust the length of it and it's just a beautifully made buttery soft bag but one of my favorite things about it is the gorgeous festive velvet red lining that it has. It screams luxury. Now Teddy Blake is a high-end designer brand, so this comes with a hefty price tag, like not too major, um, but it's not the cheapest bag in the world, but you can tell the craftsmanship that's gone into this. You can tell with the stitching how well it's made, the buttery soft leather, the compartments that are in here as well have just been very, very well thought out. It's buttery soft. You can fit a surprising amount in this bag. I've actually filled it just to check what I could get in and I could easily fit my vlogging camera, my car keys, um, bits and bobs, my face masks, hand sanitizer. It all fits in here beautifully and yeah, I love it. I just can't wait for an opportunity to wear it with an outfit and do it some real justice. I'll definitely be wearing this on Christmas Day and I'm actually going out with my mum um, for lunch one day this week. I don't know if cafes are open in my local area. Um, I think it's just a case of going and having a look. Uh, but my mum is a single and she's part of our bubble so that's completely fine but I cannot wait to wear this and just take it out and yeah I'm just really obsessed with it I love it so I think last time I looked this bag was actually in the sale normally it's about $580 um, but I think they did a special sale period where it was around 270 and it's totally worth that so I'm gonna link it down below hopefully you can get it at a reduced price um, but I would definitely check out this brand because there are so many beautiful bags on there and if this one is anything to go by I'll definitely be investing in their brand um, in years to come and yeah it's a beautiful dust bag as well ideal Christmas gift if you are still looking and that is everything guys, that is all of my November favourites. I hope you've enjoyed it and gone on to see something that you might like to try or give to someone else. Um, especially this, I mean this has to be the one guys, my true true love of the month. That and of course the beautiful Teddy Blake bag that I just showed you. But thank you so much for watching, don't forget to give it a like. Check out the description box for this shirt which is by Lily Silk, I love it. You may have seen that I got gifted this a couple of vlogs back and I, I hadn't tried it on. This is the first time trying it on and it just feels like ultimate heaven, like it just feels incredible i love it so so much so please go and check it out gorgeous colors gorgeous fabrics and quality and 
this is definitely a favourite as well, so I'll link that down below. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.